It's been many, many generations since we have had a double region game. Not since Heart Gold and Soul Silver allowed us to travel around an admittedly stripped down and bare bones Kanto after finishing our journey in Johto. Of course, that's if you don't count Generation 9's Scarlet and Violet DLC adventures in Kitakami and Junova's Blueberry Academy. But nonetheless, for years Pokemon fans have been craving to explore multiple regions in one game again. And there is now news in the Pokemon fandom which is giving many people hope. So in this quick video, we will be looking at this discovery and determining just how promising it is. In particular, there is one issue with the Japanese language that really plays a big role. I'm Sue from Pokisutami. Thanks for clicking onto this video. The new leak, rumor and speculation season is starting to heat up. So be sure to give me a sub for more videos like this. And while you're at it, please do consider watching some of my other content. From my recent Pokemon and Japanese lore deep dives to my more recent leak debunking videos. And do drop a like on this video if you enjoy it and leave a comment on what you think about a potential double region game. With that being said, let's get on with the video. So recently, YouTuber Hoops and Hip Hop tweeted out a discovery of old trademarks filed by Nintendo, Creatures and Game Freak with the Japanese Patent Office. Game Freak does tend to be a little trademark happy and will trademark anything they can and even have a tendency to trademark shield where they basically trademark various names or similar names that they may use sometime in the future, even if it's not yet fully decided upon, just to make sure no other person can swoop in and claim the trademark. We can have a better look at all the shield trademarks by checking out the full list on Bulbapedia. In the list, we can see various trademarks, some interesting ones being Crimson, Vermilion and Scarlet. These three trademarks were all filed way back in 2009 and of course the name Pokemon Scarlet was eventually used in the 2021 release. In 2008, Black and White were also trademarked in preparation for the 2010 release of the games. Although there is a lot of interesting information here, the most interesting and the focus of this video is Pokemon White Gold. Could this be our possible long-awaited double region game? Could Game Freak have trademarked the name White Gold many, many, many years ago with the intention to release a White Gold someday? So let's take a further look into the details. The White Gold name was trademarked in 2002, the same year in which the trademarks for the currently released games Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Diamond and Pearl were also filed. Additionally, the currently unused names Topaz, Toramaline, Amethyst and Moonstone were also filed on the same year. From this group, all names are referencing minerals. In Japanese, the word Hakin uses the kanji for white and gold. While if you look at it for a literal word-to-word -word translation, it would be white gold. On the other hand, the correct translation and the most common translation is platinum. And of course, we ended up getting a platinum game to go along with Diamond and Pearl. Now, let's totally disregard the whole trademark issue for a second to consider some key aspects of the Johto and Unova games. Gold and Silver's Johto region is based on the Kansai region of Japan. We already have some key lore, areas and events connecting Johto region to both the Kanto region and the Sino region. However, there is no such connections with Unova, which is based off New York City in America. It's also been said that Unova has a completely unique dex because Unova is so far away from the Japanese-inspired regions. So one would also need to imagine what type of storyline could be used to tie the two very distant regions so closely together all of a sudden. It definitely doesn't make it impossible, but it does mean more creative writing would be needed. So let's remember these three points. Gold and Silver were released in 1999. Black and White were first trademarked in 2008. With White Gold being trademarked in 2002, meaning it far predates the trademark of Black and White. And the Japanese term Hakin, with the kanji from White and Gold, being better translated into Platinum, meaning that White Gold was probably the original intended title for Platinum until Game Freak noticed Platinum would be a better choice. And lastly, no such trademark exists 
for a potential counterpart game, Black Silver. Black Silver being another name for oxidized silver. All of this makes me believe that the whole white gold trademark hype is most likely a huge case of coincidental information being misinterpreted in the current situation. But I also don't think this totally means that there is no way we will ever see a game that ties Johto and Unova together. And I also think that one day Game Freak could take a parting glance at all of the trademark names they have shielded and think, hey, we might use that after all. But for the current situation, I don't believe that White Gold was trademarked way back in 2002 in preparation for a Johto Unova double region game that would be released over 20 years from that point in time. And that's all we have for this video. Thanks for clicking onto this video and watching it all the way to this point. I hope you found this video insightful in some way. Do let me know in the comments how you would feel about a Johto Unova game. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. But for now, it's time to say bye bye. Matane.